Hello and welcome back to another Suicidal Doorbell video. Let's get right into it, shall we? So this is a video where like, we're, we're going to be talking about, you know, very serious things, you know, and there might be a couple jokes here and there, but that's just about it. So other than this weekend being used for your daily trap hentai, we know how many of you watch that. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be talking about a lot of shit. And there's one main topic I want to get on. So the main topic I want to talk about today is fucking why are people defending pedophilia on the internet? It is a very loud minority of people that are obviously being heard. And why, like, just why? And don't try to make excuses like, oh, they're just minor attracted persons. Yeah, there's enough a fucking word for that. Pedophile. And it's so fucking bizarre to me on why people would do this. Like, it genuinely pisses me off. And I will forever be flabbergasted by the fact that people are defending that shit. Like, I've seen videos of teachers, actual fucking teachers that work in a fucking classroom, try to basically defend pedophiles by calling them minor attracted persons. Even though that's not the fucking case, they are a pedophile. And pedophiles should not be defended. <laughs> Alright. That's like someone trying to defend R. Kelly for the shit he did. And that guy's a piece of shit. So, so if you're a teacher or someone that's working with kids watching this, please do not try to defend pedophiles. I hope you get fired if you do. Like, defending pedophiles is the worst thing you could fucking do. Especially if you work in a setting where you literally work with kids. Like, if I found out any teacher... Like, let's say if I have kids, right? And I found out any teacher that works at the school that my kid goes to, I would not trust my kid to go to that school in general. At the risk of they might become a victim to said, you know, the pedophile teacher. And fucking, yeah, th that's, that's about it. That's about all I can say for that fucking topic. Just thinking about it just pisses me off. So we're going to switch into the fucking next one. So the next topic we're going to be talking about is how I basically hate people that are around my age. L let me explain. So if you follow me on Twitter, you would know that I made a rant of talking about how I seen these people on my Instagram feed fucking quitting jobs over 8 to 12 hour shifts or shit like that. Literally complaining and quitting over job conditions that they fucking applied for. And it's making me wonder if, like, that's why I can't get a fucking job. Because people my age are already getting a bad rep by a never fucking my, uh, minority of people that are fucking quitting jobs, making themselves look fucking stupid on the internet. Like, what? what is the point? Alright. Fucking, there's people, how I want to work, there's people my age that want to work also. And then you got all these fucking morons on the internet like, oh, oh I don't want to clean all this up. Even though it's my fucking job, and it's not that fucking hard, I'm going to fucking quit instead. And make everyone in my fucking age group look like a goddamn moron. Like, dude, why? If you got a problem with the job... Don't fucking apply for it. Just stay home and disappoint your parents. Like fucking hell. <sighs> then you got all these people like defending these type of people too. Like, oh, they work in fast food and you know how hard it can be. Especially with people being such assholes and yada, yada, yada. And I will admit that is true. There's big fast food people get treated like shit. But here's the thing, you expect that before you even get into the fucking job. Like, 
even people that don't work fast food know how how much assholes people can fucking be. All right, you are not the only fucking ones. I'm not gonna show sympathy when you are crying about a job that you literally applied for. You should have known the fucking conditions. You should fucking like calm the fuck on. Like how I'm sorry, but you 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 are literally fucking stupid. Very. Like fucking are you telling me that you don't look into what your job requires, what your job fucking does? And you're just applying for the fucking job anyway. You don't look at the description, nothing. Are you are you that stupid? Cuz I'm guessing you are. And Honestly, thinking about this fucking topic pisses me off, too. Like, why do I have to struggle because you want to act like a fucking idiot? It, it makes no sense, dude. It makes no fucking sense. So, yeah, let's, let's just try to get onto the next topic without me popping my head off please. Thank you. So another topic I want to talk about is mental health. And while yes, there are some people that will take it very seriously, and I'm grateful for those type of people. But there's also people that don't. And that's honestly the main majority. Alright, mental health for anyone in general, no matter what gender or race you are, it's like no one really fucking talks about it. No one really wants to do a thing about it either. Like, for example, therapy. Therapy costs money. And I'm in like lots of money. And... Not many people can afford that, even though they truly, truly need it. And, fucking, it's like, there's so much things in this fucking world, or even in our country, that people just don't want to pay attention to. In the words of Sad Boy Prolific, they care more about producing oil and mass producing their bombs than they do mental health. Alright, that's from his song called Blind, and I highly suggest you check it out because he talks about real topics in that song. And it's honestly right, they, our country cares more about oil and mass producing weapons than they do the mental health of the youth of America and it's honestly like one of the saddest things you'll ever fucking see like fucking like I said earlier there's so many things that our country or just in the world in general there's like just so many fucking problems that people don't pay attention to and we could come up with solutions but we're too busy fucking focusing on stupid shit it's sad mental health and many other problems on this earth are should not be taken as lightly as we've been taking them and me and quite a couple other people would fucking say that alright and fucking I just wish more people would actually take the time to focus on the real problems. Instead of fighting, arguing, and complaining about the world's most stupidest shit. That's all I had to say for that. And now we're going to move into probably the one and final topic. So, the next and final topic we're going to be talking about is, well, politicians. I don't fuck with Republican politicians, and I don't fuck with Democratic politicians. 
Both Republican and Democratic politicians are fucking stupid. And sometimes even the people that support them are very fucking stupid. For example, Donald Trump, he's a fucking piece of shit. But he has followers like it's a fucking cult. And this man Biden has fucking dementia. He fucking, like, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Like, but he's also a piece of shit. And the one fucking, uh, it's just pissing me off, you know? I fucking, like, people want to support bad people at this point when it comes to voting in politics. I don't mess with anyone. I don't support any politician. The only one that seems like I would actually support was Andrew Yang, but that's about it. He's the only one. But like fucking, I just can't stand politicians. I literally just cannot stand them. But I also can't stand the amount of dick writing that fucking Republicans and Democrats both do like fucking they ride their candidates so fucking hard and it gets very fucking annoying and if you disagree then fucking that's fine by me but you should at least try to take time and observe because I know what I see and fucking maybe fucking politics used to mean something back then but nowadays to be honest in my eyes it doesn't really mean shit yeah we need a leader but I don't think we should be choosing the bad ones so here is my proposition all right and hear me out before we do like presidential runs and all that ever shit, right? You should put each and every candidate through a very unpredictable simulation. Could be like a VR uh, simulation or just, you know, any type of simulation basically, but it has to be unpredictable and target real world problems. And we should put these candidates through that simulation as a test to see what these people would actually do and how that would play out like how would their solution play out in these type of predicaments you know and I feel like personally it could work it could possibly work and we just have to take the time to try it and after they go for the simulation and whoever gets the best score and the best rating will choose out of those people will choose who to vote for out of those people because i feel like people just go and vote for people without actually looking into what type of person they are and like we do have a lot of we do have a lot of bad leaders and I think the simulation might be able to help with that you know well that's the last topic I want to talk about so if you enjoyed today's video and you have some opinions you might want to share with me, put them down in the comments, you know? Other than that, peace!